go to brunch today. Now, I don't know how brunch is in your part of the country, but brunch in New York is serious business. Like we, my friends and I don't really go out to dinner often, but we manage to go to brunch almost every week. So I felt like doing some um, a gluten free goes to brunch would be appropriate because I still think brunch can be uh, a tough meal to eat out. So just some things to think about when you are dining out for brunch is is there pancake batter in your eggs? I know that's really, really rare. It doesn't happen much anymore. I think IHOP used to do it, and they might not anymore, but definitely, I mean, clearly, anytime you eat out, always alert the kitchen and the manager, whoever you speak with, of your um, your food intolerance and your celiac disease. But again, you know, you need to let them know, and it, it, it's a possibility. Also, you know, ask if your bacon, breakfast meats, hash browns, ask for them to be cooked on a clean part of the griddle. Be proactive. I've heard a lot of chefs tell me that people don't speak up ahead of time. They order something hoping it's okay, and then they get the food, and it's not okay. So you are a patron. It's your right to good food and healthy food, So, but you have to speak up and be your own advocate in these situations. So... um. Oh, another thing, also make sure if you're ordering any kind of fried food that they have a dedicated fryer assembly for potatoes. Again, if they fry anything with breading in it, it has been cross-contaminated and that oil is not safe for um, you. When I am at brunch, I often order scrambled eggs and I usually have it with a side salad just to make sure um, I don't get anything that could make me sick. And honestly, eggs or an omelet and a side salad is actually a pretty nice pairing for breakfast. I know a lot of people wouldn't think of that with a nice little uh, oil and vinegar dressing. It's a good time. Um, and also, I am a big fan of mimosa at brunch. Who's anyone surprised? Probably not. But one thing to look out for in brunch drinking are um, Bloody Marys. Now, always ask what mix they use and brush up on your mixes if you are a Bloody Mary um, drinker because some mixes do contain wheat. Um, but most of the time restaurants make their own mixes and ask what kind of Worcestershire sauce they use. Lee and Perrin's made in the U.S. is okay to have in um, the Bloody Mary mix. So definitely something to ask about. Also, whenever I go to brunch, I take my uh, Steely Bow gluten-free dining card with me. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys. It's very exciting. I don't think I've ever showed one on camera before, but this is what it looks like. When you hand it to the hostess, the chef, the manager, it's very, it doesn't draw a lot of attention, but um, you open it up and it um, says everything you need to know. It talks about cross-contamination, what ingredients to avoid, and um, very helpful to the chef. So just a thought, you can order those on um, my website. Email me directly, tinsley at sealybow.com if you have any questions, but they are a huge help when dining out. Um, and especially when going to brunch. So I hope everyone's doing well out there. I hope you have a brunch plan soon. As always, it's from Have Not To Have and Gluten-Free Dining.